talk about the amplitude, period, horizontal shift, and interval of one complete period of the sine and cosine curves, okay? So when we talk about the amplitude, period, horizontal shift, and interval of one complete period of sine curves, then we are referring to this rule. Y is equal to A sine K times X minus B. And I provided here colors to indicate uh, importance later. The amplitude is the absolute value of A. Amplitude is the length or the distance okay, of the particular wave or curve. Where the period is 2 pi over k, so we're now us utilizing k here. But this k is any real number greater than 0. So take note of that, okay? The horizontal shift is represented by b. And the interval of one complete period is from b to b plus 2 pi over k. And when we say uh, complete period or the interval, it is on this interval where the entire period of any function in this form will happen. Okay? And the shift, the horizontal shift would mean we are now referring to where the graph shifting to the left or will the graph shift to the right? And that will happen when b is greater than zero then the graph will shift to the right when b is greater than 0. But when b is less than 0, the graph shift is shifted to the left. But to give a clue, when we see minus sign here, so whenever we have minus b, then we are talking to a positive value of b. Okay? But when we see plus b, then we are now referring to a negative value of b. So this plus b indicates a negative value of b so that will fall under shifting to the left but when we have minus b and the value of b is positive or greater than zero then the graph is shifted to the right and how many units that is now b or the b units that is the number of units where the graph is shifted to the left or to the right that is also true when we talk about cosine curve. We also have the amplitude with the same absolute value of A, period of 2 pi over K, interval of complete, of complete period, you see, and horizontal shift, which is B, and the same, we go, to, we go to the right, shift to the right, shift to the left, if we have B that is greater than 0, or B that is less than 0, and when we see minus B again, then that is positive B. So when we have plus B, then we have positive um, negative B, okay? We start Y is equal to 2 cosine 2 times X minus pi over 4, okay? The amplitude is 2, this one in yellow, and the absolute value of A is 2, so that is already 2 units. The period is equal to 2 pi over K. Where k here is this, number 2, okay? Substitute, so 2 pi over 2 is pi. The horizontal shift, we see this is negative. So p is equal to pi over 4, and that is positive. So we move or shift the graph to the left, uh, to the right, okay? So the interval of one complete period is b, to b plus 2 pi over k. So b is pi over 4 substitute. 2 pi over k, the period is pi. So we have here pi over 4 plus pi. Pi over 4 plus pi is 5 pi over 4. So we now have the interval of one complete period, and that is from pi over 4 to 5 pi over 4. Okay? Next, y is equal to 5 sine 4 times x plus pi over 6. The amplitude is 5. And the period is 2 pi over k, where k is 4. So 2 pi over 4 is pi over 2. The horizontal shift, we see this is positive or plus. So meaning to say b is negative pi over 6. And that is shifting the graph you know, to the left. Interval of one complete period, we use the rule. And b is 
negative five uh, negative pi over six so we substitute negative pi over 6 plus the period which is pi over 2 will give us negative pi over 6 to pi over 3. The next example, y is equal to negative 6 sine 8 times x minus pi over 6. The amplitude is the absolute value of a. There is no amplitude that is negative. So we have the absolute value of negative 6 is 6. The period is 2 pi over k, where k is 8. So 2 pi over 8 is pi over 4. So the horizontal shift, and we see this is negative, so b is positive pi over 6, and that is to the right. The interval, so we have b, and that is pi over 6, and 2 pi over k, which is pi over 4. So we have the interval from pi over 6 to pi over 6 plus pi over 4. Combining pi over 6 and pi over 4 will give us 5 pi over 12. So we have the interval of one complete period, pi over 6 to 5 pi over 12. But what if we have a negative uh, numerical here, negative 0 0.24? The amplitude is the absolute value of negative 0.24, and that is 0.24. The period 2 pi over k, where k is 0.12 substitute, so we have 2 pi divided by 0.12 is 50 pi over 3. And as you notice, we will not get approximation or the approximated value of the period we provide the exact value and that is 50 pi over 3 and that is true to all of our examples the horizontal shift and we see this is negative so b must be positive and positive pi over 5 indicates shifting it to the right in the interval of one complete period b is pi over 5 and 2 pi over k is 50 pi over 3 substitute so we have pi over 5 2 Pi, uh, pi over 5 plus 50 pi over 3 we add these two again do not have do not create approximated value but give the provide the exact okay so that is pi over 5 to 253 pi over 15 that is the horizontal I'm sorry that is the complete period now if we have y that is equal to 1 over 7 cosine 3x minus 3 pi over 2 whenever we see a numerical coefficient of x which is not 1 then we are going to factor it out kailangan magkaroon tayo dito ng x lang so ibig sabihin kailangan ilabas natin ng 3 so pag ilalabas natin ng 3 through factoring meaning to say negative 3 pi over 2 should also change and what will happen y will now be 1 over 7 cosine 3 times x minus pi over 2. So as you observe, this is already x and the numerical coefficient 3 is brought out. And Okay, so 3 pi over 2 divided by 3 will give us negative pi over 2. So this will now be the manipulated uh, equation. So dito tayo magfo-focus and getting the, the different unknown here. Okay? We have now from the given original given it will now become this way so y is equal to 1 over 7 cosine 3 times x minus pi over 2 the amplitude is 1 over 7 period k is equal to 3 so substitute that will give you 2 pi over 3 the horizontal shift b is equal to and you see this is negative so b is positive so pi over 2 and that is shifting to the right the interval of one complete period again b is pi over 2 and the 2 pi over k the period is 2 pi over 3 adding pi over 2 to 2 pi over 3 will give you 7 pi over 6 so the interval of one complete period of the given function is pi over 2 to 7 pi over 6. So the next given is y is equal to negative 2.1 cosine 5x plus 5 pi over 7. We also observe that this is 5x, so we are going to factor it out. 
to bring out 5. So it will now become negative 2.1 cosine 5x plus pi over 7. So it is simply it simply means that this 5 pi over 7, we are just separating 5. So we have 5 times pi over 7. Okay, and that is the reason why pi over 7 is left here. And from that, the manipulated uh, function will now be this one. So y is equal to negative 2.1 cosine 5 times x plus pi over 7. As indicated, I used colors to emphasize the unknown later. The amplitude is equal to the absolute value of negative 2.1 and that is 2.1. The period is 2 pi over k where k is 5 and uh, the period will now be 2 pi over 5. Okay, so the horizontal shift B, this is positive, so B will become negative. So that is the indication here. When you see plus here, then B is negative. When you see minus, B is positive. So it shifts to the left. Okay, the interval of one complete period, using this rule again, we let B be negative pi over 7. And the period 2 pi over 5 is here, substitute. So add negative pi over 7 to 2 pi over 5 will give us 9 pi over 35. So the interval of one complete period is negative pi over 7 to 9 pi over 35. So next given, y is equal to negative 1 fifth sine 1 over 6x plus pi over 18 will give us this form because we can see that this is 1 over 6 so we need to factor it out and pi over 18 we can bring out 1 over 6 no so if we try to bring out 1 over 6 from pi over 18 then this must be 3 that is why it becomes pi over 3 so this will now be the manipulated function so from the given original given here we now have y is equal to 1 fifth sine 1 over 6 times x plus pi over 3 and that will now provide us the amplitude which is the absolute value of negative 1 fifth 1 over 5 and the period is 2 pi over k where k is 1 over 6 so we have 2 pi over 1 over 6 and that will now be 12 pi and this is the period 12 pi the horizontal shift and you see this is addition, then that must be negative pi over 3, and that's moving to the left. The interval of one complete period is from b to b plus 2 pi over k. Substitute b is negative pi over 3, and the 2 pi over k, which is the period, is 12 pi. So we have negative pi over 3 to 35 pi over 3. However, if we have y that is equal to negative 0 0.72 sine 2 third x minus 2 pi over 27 and uh, we are going to factor it out, this 2 pi over 27 can also be equal to 2 over 3 times pi over 9 because we are going to factor out. So we can now bring out pi 2, 2 over 3 and 2 over 3 which will now become negative 0 0.72 sine 2 thirds times x minus pi over 9. Okay, we will now manipulate the factored form. The amplitude is the absolute value of a, which is equal to negative, the absolute value of negative 0 0.72, and that is 0 0.72. Again, the period is 2 pi over k, where k is equal to 2 over 3. And that is equal to 3 pi. So we're now looking for the horizontal shift B. And this is negative. So meaning to say it moves to the right. So pi over 9. Okay, that must be positive. And the interval of one complete period, we use the rule from B to B plus 2 pi over k substitute. B is positive pi over 9. And 2 pi over k, the period is 3 pi. So pi over 9 plus 3 pi will give us 28 pi over 9.